Hi, here we are solving problem 421. And we are asked to reduce the system of forces and moment 2.0. So that means finding the resultant force and the resultant moment. And we will do this vectorial because this is a 3D problem, right? So the first thing that we will do is find the resultant force. We have two forces over here. So the resultant force will be equals to F1 plus F2. F1 is a force that is only in the C direction, which is 300 newtons in K. And F2 has two directions. As you see, is inclined respect to the x-axis 45 degrees. Therefore, I can decompose the force F1 in a vertical force. Let me draw it a little bit better. Vertical force and a horizontal force. That horizontal force will be Fx2, and this will be Fx. And as you see, we don't have any components of F2 in the y direction. Therefore, we have 200 square root of 2 over 2, which is the cosine of 45 in i direction, minus square root of 2 over 2 in c direction. And the units for those forces are both in newtons. If I add all these forces, I will have I direction, K direction, and I don't have A, and I have, of course, sorry about that, I forgot to include F3, and F3 has only direction in Y, which is 100. 100, yes, 100, so let me write this a little bit more clear, this is not just 100 in J. Therefore, I will add all the components in I, all the components in J, and all the components in K. As you see, in I, we only have this component. In J, we have only this component. And in K, we have this one and this one. Therefore, the resultant force is equals to, in I, I have this one over here, which is 200 times square root of 2 over 2. So it's 100 square root of 2. So it's 141. Point 0.4 in I. Then I have in J, I have only this one. And in K, I have to add 300 minus 141.4, which gives me 158.6 in K. And all that, the units of all that are in Newtons. So we were able to find the resultant force. As I say, in this case, we will leave it as vector. So we are able to find the resultant force. Now we have to find the moment respect to O. The moment respect to O will be equals to adding all the moments that I have, so it will be M1 plus M2 plus R I cross F I from I equals one in this case to three, but like I have three forces. So I have to find in terms of its components M1, M2, and find the moment that produce each of these forces respect to O. So let's do one by one. M1 will be equals to this moment over here, which is just 100 in K. M2 will be this one right here, and the same way as the force was in this direction, also the moment is in this direction, so it will have two components. It will have the component in C and the component in X. 
it will be 180 square root of 2 over 2 in i minus square root of 2 over 2 in k. And please do not forget the units. The units are always for moment, force and distance. So we, are, we were able to find those two. Now we have to find the moment that produce each of these forces. So let's find the first one. Let's do it right here. So I will say force one cross F1 will be the moment produced by the force F1. In this case, we have 0 0.5 in J cross product F1, which is 300 in K. This one is so easy that I don't have to do a matrix, right? Because the, the multiplication is J cross K. Remember, we always can use our little uh, sheet here that we have I cross J is K, and K cross I is J, and J cross K is I, and if I go in this direction, it's negative. So J cross K is I. So here I will have 150 in I. And this will be Newton's meters. R2 cross F2. R2 is the distance between O and where the F2 is located. So it will be the position vector OB, which is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.6. So it's 1.1. Cross the vector F2. The vector F2, I found it over here, which is 100 square root of 2 in I minus square root of 2 in K. And I can also do this multiplication as J cross I, J cross K, or I could do a matrix if you feel more comfortable. So you can do the matrix. So there is always two ways to do it. Either do the distributed multiplication cross product. In this case, will be J cross I, J cross K. Or you can do the matrix, right? So in this case, will be 1.1 times 100 times square root of 2, J cross A. I go negative k. Let me write it a little bit. Give me my a little bit more room. So it will be 1.1 1 .1 times 100 times square root of 2, and it will be in k. And it's a negative value, right? And then j cross k, sorry, yeah, the j cross k will be positive i, but I have a negative over here, so it gives me negative anyway. So it will be 1.1. 1 .1 times 100 times square root of 2. And that gives me a value in i. So both are negative. And finally, I have F3. As you see, F3 is along parallel to the distance. So the moment produced by F3 will be this distance over here, which is 1.9 in J cross F3, that is also in J. So that's equals to 0 because, as you know, J cross J is 0. So I have all the values. I have values in K, values in I, values in, in K again. So I will add all the components in I, all the components in J, and I have the result over here. the moment respect to O will be equal to 122 in I minus 183 in K, and the unit is Newton meters. I didn't have that much space, let me, let me write it, well, let me write it smaller that I really want space always for the units, okay? It's very important always to include the units. One hundred and twenty-two in I minus one hundred and 
83 in K Newton meter. So this is the solution for the moment when I add all the components together. Please do your calculations, right? So I add all the eyes. In this case, I have this component plus this component. And then I have and this component. Then for the J's, I have none. And then I have for the case this one, this one, and this one. So good. And the other question that they ask us, what will be, as you see, if we want to decompose this moment, moment respect to axis x is 122 newtons over meter. Moments respect to axis y is zero, and moment respect to axis c is equal to negative 183 newtons meters. And that is what it means to reduce the system of forces and moment to 0.0. We found the resultant force, and we found the moment that all the forces produce, but we have to add the moments that are applied to the system as well.